What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another Fat Blast. Uh, today we're gonna go upper body and core heavy, right? So if you're not looking to do upper body, maybe we switch it up today, but uh, you can always do it with us and do different exercises. But this is what we have on the menu for today. We're gonna go on the minute, on the minute. You guys are pretty familiar with this one, and if this is your first time doing on the minute, good. So what we have here is we're gonna do one exercise. We're all gonna start at the same time. We're gonna do one exercise. We're gonna do 20 reps of that exercise. Right, once we're done with 20 reps, we rest the rest of that minute, and then we all start again on the, the next minute coming up. All right, so here it's gonna go 20 reps on the press. Uh, if it takes you 30 seconds to do 20, sec uh, 20 reps, then we take another 30 seconds to rest. Once that minute starts over again, we do 20 rows. All right, once we're done with 20 rows, we rest the rest of that minute, and then we go on to number three, four, five. There are six movements here today. I got a big whiteboard, I can't fit it all in. Here we go. So we got six movements. And we're gonna do them all in a row. All in a row. So we've got a 24 minute running clock. Does that make sense? I hope so. So we got six exercises. We're gonna do them four times each. And that's it. That's all we need. All we need. We're gonna get a great workout in, a lot of good movements here. And if we always need to, if we need to switch some stuff up, always feel free to do it. All right. Um, so that's our that's our little precursor here. Let's get started on the warm-up. So the warm-up we're gonna get through real quick. Let's just get a few arm circles. Let's get the arms moving. Like I said, it's gonna be a little more uh, upper body dominant here with a little core sprinkled in. So if you're not feeling the upper body today, choose somebody else's. I think Frankie's got a good butt to guts one there. Brian did some straight up arms. You could do those. And then we'll go arms back and forth here. So there's a bunch of different variations on the, uh, the movements here. I just gave you a kind of like a general movement. Right, whether it's a press, you can go overhead, you can go on your back, do a floor press, you can just even bang out some push-ups. Uh, like I said, always some different variations you can do. So now with our feet together, we're gonna reach that left leg back and then reach that left hand over our body. Nice stretch down this left side. Hold it there for a few seconds and then we'll just switch. Bring that right leg back, right hand over. Nice stretch on that right side. Let's just do that about one more, one to two more times on each side here. Great, great job. Well, we're breathing. We're breathing. Don't hold the breath. Let it go. Let it go. All that stress out of there. Good. Well, one more time for myself here. Nice stretch here. Another one you can do just during the day if you're getting a little tight at your desk. Stand up, move around a little bit. All right, good. So now we're going to lay down on our, on our back. We're going to do some W's to overhead. So Four slides here. All right, so we'll set up on the ground. We're gonna lay down. We're gonna try to keep our elbows and our wrists on the floor. Once we're in this position, we're gonna reach our hands over our head, try to keep those arms on the ground, and then pull the elbows back down towards the hips. We're gonna do that for 10 smooth, controlled reps. All right, now like I said, our goal is to keep those wrists and those elbows close to the ground as we go up and down with the arms. Good. 
So if you have a band or some band pull parts we're going to do later, grab that band now. If you don't have a band, grab like a broomstick, uh, a towel would work, a nice blanket, anything that we can kind of grab and strain our arms with right here. So we have this band. From here, we're going to keep our arms as straight as we can as we bring that broomstick or band, whatever you have, over your head, behind your back. So we're going over and back 10 times. 10 times. The closer you put your hands, if you have a band, the closer you put the hands, the harder it should feel. Right? If it feels too much, even if you're on a broomstick, go a little wider with the grip. It'll feel a little easier to bring those arms back and forth. Here we go. Let's get about 10 reps here. This is another good one you can add into the, the mix if we're doing some mobility stuff during the day. It's always good with the shoulders and the chest. Good. All right, now let's get the heart pumping a little more. Let's get into a jumpy jack. And now we're going to go seal jack. So hands together, feet together. Try to keep our hands at this height. We're going to go for 20 solid reps. You ready? Set. Go. Hands together and feet together. Same time. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go. Ten more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Alright, good. Now let's go on our back. We're going with some leg lowers. Leg lowers. We got both legs up in the air. Control one leg down at a time. Let's get eight on each side. So here you can pull off that leg that's in the air. Or you can push your hands into the ground next to you. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Just keeping that back as flat as you can down against the ground. There you go. Hold that leg down. Hold it, don't. Try to really focus on keeping those legs straight. That's solid. That's good. Once we get in, we'll pop it back up. Let's go one more time. One more time between those two, then we're getting right into the workout. Hands together, feet together, 20 reps. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 17, 18, last one, 19, 20, good, 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 good. All right, so one more time, leg lowers. One more time, get those legs up, control them one down. At a time, you can alternate the two here. There we go. 16 total. 16 total here. There we go. There we go, we're pressing our back down as we lower that heel to the floor. The lower we go, the harder it is for that back to stay flat. 16 guys. Cross plane. What do you got again? Nice job. Grab your water, grab your equipment. Like I said, running clock. Running clock. So we've got 24 minutes on that clock. Then we get to work. Then we get to work. So here it is again. Upper body. If you're not feeling upper body today, you can definitely, if you want to stay with us, I'd love that. You can switch those upper body movements to lower body. You can do this with us, just a little different movement. Uh, but if you are staying here with us, let's go single, or sorry, so, I'm so, so if you do anything single, right, like a single arm press, just do 10 on each side. So our goal is to get 20 total reps. Whether it's 10 single or two at the same time to get 20, that works. All right, so I'm gonna go, and like I said, you can go with different variations. This is just a general movement. So arms, you could go bicep or tricep. You can even do some lateral raises with some shoulders there if you'd like. And then the, even like the mountain climbers, right? We could go elbow taps there instead. Then even for like pull parts, you could go to face pull and switch it up there. All right, so one, we're going with our press. Two, we're going with our row. Three, we've got the core for the straight leg sit up. And then you could add some dead bugs if you prefer that instead. Uh, four, pull parts or the face pull. Five, we've got curls or skull crushers. Six, we've got mountain climbers. Mountain climbers, so we're here. There's, you can make slow or fast. Remember, the longer it takes you to finish those exercises, the less rest you have between your exercises. Okay, so get your stuff ready. I got the timer. I got the timer. We're going for 24 minutes. 24 minutes. Six exercises, four rounds, and then we're done. That's all we need. That's all we need. So, like I said, I'm going to start with the floor press, 20 reps. 
I'll guide you through. I'll bring this it's a little closer here so you guys can see as well. See that? Okay, so I'm ready, guys. I'm just going to set up the bike here so you guys can see the, uh, the workout on the floor there. So for like the row, we can go with like a banded row, single arm banded row up against like an anchor point there. You don't have anything to anchor it on. I'll show you a cool little variation we can use with the feet. And then we'll get into that. All right, so I got my timer. I don't want you guys to see that I'm cheating on the time. I got it set up. I'm right here with you. All right. We're going to have a 10 second countdown. And we get to work. We get to work. Here we go. If you need time. Pause it. Pause it right now and get your stuff. Reset it when you're ready. Three, two, one, and go. 20 reps. 20 reps on the press. 20 reps. Remember, the longer it takes you, the less reps the rest you have in between each minute. All right, so here we're controlling it down, firing it up. Let's get 20 solid reps. Whether you're on your back, whether you're standing, you're pushing overhead, get to that 20. That's the magic number today, 20 reps. There we go. Good, breathing is gonna be key here. Breathing is gonna be key. We got 25 seconds to go. To go. Number two, get yourself ready for the row. Got the timer here. 20 rows, 20 rows. 10 on each side. We got something to do a, a two arm row. Let's go for the 20 here. So here I'm going to stand on one side of the band, the other side of the band. It looks like I'm surfing and I grab the middle of the band. I'm going to pull it just like a single arm row. I got 10 on each side. All right, so keep that shoulder nice and low and then a nice strong pull back to that elbow. Like always, we've got that back nice and flat. Our neck is packed. We're not cheating forward with the chin. Back, keep it strong. There we go. Get 10 on each side. You got some single arm rows. Pull the back and squeeze. There we go. All right, nice. We've got 20 seconds now. We're going on to a straight leg sit up. Straight leg sit up. We're going to lay down flat on our back. Big reach up towards the ceiling. And then we control ourselves back down. Alright, we've got 20 reps. Five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's go. 20 smooth reps. Right here, you can bend the knees if you'd like. See if that feels a little better, harder, easier, whatever it may be. That's another variation you can do here. Just bend the knees. Still reach those hands all the way up. All the way up. Let's get to 20 here. 20. All the way through. Don't let those last five get really sloppy. First five, look like the last five. Here's my thing. Here we go. Strong, strong. So the more vertical we keep the arms, the harder it should feel. Here we go. Peel yourself back down. Curl yourself up. One. All right. Let's get long. All right, pull parts. 20 of them, 20 of them. Let's grab a band and let's pull it apart. Ready, set, and go. 20 reps here. Here we go. Squeeze those shoulder blades down and in. Keep that chest proud. Good. Good. Good job, guys. Get to 20. Get 20. That water, that water break is coming in wherever you need it. Wherever you need it. There we go. Good. Alright guys, we got two more, and that's going to be one full round. Remember, we're going four full rounds. We still have 30 seconds to go. Um, but next up, we're going arms. Right, so if you get band, you can curl it, 20 reps, dumbbells, kettlebell, whatever you've got. Your kid, curl your kid 20 times. And then number six, we've got mountain climbers. 
And that'll be our last one, then we restart it back at the press. All right, let's get our uh, arms ready for number five. Curls, skull crushers, whatever your favorite arm movement is there. I'm gonna start with the band, see how that goes. Ready, set, go. Let's go. Big posture. We're doing curls. Keep those elbows tight to the ribs. And just get those hands all the way up and down. 20 times. 20 times, right? You can make these speedy, nice and quick. You can make them a little slow and eccentric if you want to really feel those biceps from the way down. There we go. You can control the tempo here. Control the tempo here. And if you have your own clock, by all means, set that up. Set that up so you know how much rest you have to go. 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. One more station. One more station. We've got the mountain climbers. That one we can switch into a elbow tap. You can do a little toe lift if you'd like instead. And let's go on our core here. Go with our core. 20 reps each. Knee drive counts as one for the mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Five seconds. Let's get set up into a nice push up plank. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. All right, so here you can go straight up or you can even go across your body. Opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Either way, let's get the 20 total. 20 total. Here we go. Keep those arms straight, keep them right under the shoulders. Push them down. Push them down. Nice. All right. There we go. One down. One down. We got three to go, baby. All right. So here, we get a little creative. You can stay with the same movement, which I fancy would be a little harder than switching the movements up because you're using the same stuff the whole time. All right, so I'm going to stick with the floor press, keep it there. If you want, add those push-ups in, add an overhead press in there. Well, we're going to start seven seconds. So if you want to start your own timer, let's get it started in three, two, one, round two, let's go. Round two, here we go. Smooth 20 presses. Smooth 20. If you're doing something single, get 10 on each side. Here we go. Here we go. Although we're working against the clock here, doesn't mean we get sloppy reps. Sloppy reps are a no no. Slow it down, drop the weight, change the move. It's something other than getting a sloppy rep there. Those add up. Those definitely add up. Good one, we get 20. That's your break. That's your break. We've got 22 seconds. Can we go back to a row? The row could be in a push-up position, right? You could do a renegade row. You could just keep one leg down, do a, a bird dog row. You could keep both knees down and row it from the floor there too. We're gonna go back to the single arm banded row here. Three, two, one, go. Let's get to work. Let's get 10 on each side. 10 on each side. We go posture, elbow back. Here we go. Get those ten. Get those ten. Pull the shoulders back. Pull the elbow back. Nice. Ten on each. Ten on each. Don't let that band or that weight or that dumbbell, whatever you're holding, don't let it pull you to whatever side has that band. You're staying in control. You move when you want. Good. 20, 20 seconds to go. Straight leg sit up is next. Uh, if you want to go back to the leg lowers, you can do that one instead. Uh, a dead hug is a good one here too. I'm going to stick with the straight leg sit up for this one. I'll switch it up next round. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go. You can do a single leg V up. If you guys see me, if you want to look up real quick, you got a single leg action here. And again, that would be 10 on each side. So you're not fully sitting up, you're lifting that leg off the ground, you're crunching those, those ab muscles together there. Push it down to the floor, squeeze, squeeze, get all that tension in, in your core there. Here we go. Smooth rest, nice job. Sit-ups, we're going to pull parts. Face pulls, the 
you don't have a band or anything and you're on your stomach, lay down on your stomach. Do the uh, T to handcuffs. Those are always tough too. But if you've got a band, let's get full parts. 20 reps. Three, two, one, go. Go. Right, so here, imagine like you're squeezing those shoulder blades together. If there's like a pencil in between, you're squeezing that pencil together. Go. It's going to be very easy for those traps to start to cheat up towards the ears, right? If you feel that happening, just try to really be aware of them and pull them down. Really focusing on more feeling it back in here than up, up top towards the neck. Alright, once you get 20, rest. It's your rest. Remember, we've got no, no actual time to rest until you uh, finish those 20 reps. There's no minute of rest. There's just two seconds in between. Number five coming up, arms, skull crushers, curls, whatever you've got there. We're starting with 10 seconds. 10 seconds, I'm going to switch it up into a, a dumbbell curl here. I'm going to stick with the hammer curl. Thumbs are up, palms are facing each other. There you go. Control that weight all the way up, all the way down. Don't swing it. Don't swing it. Squeeze it, curl it up. There we go. Let's get to that 20, guys. Let's get to 20. If you're doing scroll crushes on your back, control that weight down. Strain those arms all the way out at the top. Nice. 20 done. Let's get into the core for number six. Once we're done with six, guys, we are halfway. We are halfway. So, again, mountain climbers work here great. Uh, if you want to go onto your back, if you're, if you're on your hands too much right now, Go on your back, do some dead bugs, that works too, right? Be, be smart, be safe, all right? Yeah, you guys are doing a great job. Doing a great job, keep up. Keep up, let's go, 20 reps in three, two, one, go. Right, you can make them smooth, you can make them quick like I am right there. Get a little more rest. There we go, I'm gonna go a little quick right here. There we go, there we go. Even though I'm going quicker though, I'm not just going willy-nilly. Really focus on the technique there. All right. Woo! 40 seconds to rest. I love it. I love it. A little double-edged sword, right? The harder you work, the more tired you might feel, but also the more rest you get. All right, guys. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. We are halfway right here. Halfway. If you're still working, keep going. You got 30 seconds till we go again. 20 seconds now. You're gonna grab a foam roller. You got 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Starting with the press. Starting with the press. Back to the top. Here we go. Back to the top. Three, two, one, go. Go. Here you can add a little dead bug variation if you want to take your heels off the floor. That's a good one. You can add a bridge to it. If you want to get the glutes a little more. Here we go. Either way, 20 perfect reps each time, each time. Like I said, I know we're going up against the clock. Don't rush the reps. Don't rush the reps. If you feel like you can't get 20 solid ones and you have to cut it down, I'd rather you cut it down like two reps than give me two terrible reps. I don't want you guys to get hurt. Bro, I'm going to switch it up a little bit here too. So bro, I'm going to be sitting down on my tiny, my legs are straight. I'm gonna keep the bands together. All right, so here's the post strand. Keep it together. Put it around the soles of my feet. So now I have both open sides in my hands. I'm just gonna grab it, choke it, pull it back. So now I've got 20 straight up rows here. 20 rows. Keep the chest proud. Don't let the chest start to cave in. All right, so we're not here. We're not slouching. Stay proud, we're staying tall. Good. Smooth pull back. Smooth pull back. There we go. Let's get 20 reps on these rows here. If you're sticking with a single arm, you know you've got talent each. That's good too. There we go. Get the back over there. Get the back. Nice. Alright. Woo! Alright, guys. So we've got 20 seconds. So we're on to station number three. 
Station number three was a straight leg sit up. If you want to stick with that, that's good. I'm going to switch it up here. So if you have like a foam roller, or even like a nice stiff pillow or something, you're going to put that in between your hands and your knees. Three, two, one, go. Now all I'm doing is pushing my knee into the roller as I extend the opposite leg out. All right, so just like a normal dead bug, keep that back flat. Control one leg out at a time. Here we've got single, so obviously we're going 10 on each side. And if you're sticking with a straight leg sit up, get it. It feels 20. But if you want to switch it up, and here it is. Well, it's dead bug with the roller. And what you're doing with your hands is you're pushing the roller down and towards the knee. All right, so there's a little fight going on between the knee and the hands there. Don't let either one of them move. Ah, go. 20 reps. Come on. Those you should feel instantly, especially if you have a foam roller and you're pressing those into your knees, instant. All right, let's go to the pull parts, guys. Let's go in five seconds. In five seconds, three, two, one, let's go. Let's go. Feel those little muscles in the back working. Squeeze them back. Squeeze them back. Nice, nice. And when we do these, we're trying to stay as quiet as we can and not let the hips kind of pop out with the stomach. All right, so stand tall, stand proud like you're up against the wall. Even if you want to go up against the wall, do it. That works. Sometimes that helps us make sure we're really staying straight. Good. Once we get 20, rest it. Rest it. And if you absolutely need a longer rest, just pause it come back to us. Pause it and come back. You know how you feel. So if this is your first one in a long time, then I'm kicking your butt here. Good, but be smart. All right, arms it is, arms next. I'm single curl, baby. I'm gonna go back to the bands, though. Back to the bands. And if you guys have different weights, we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. And if you guys have different weights, you wanna try it out. Go, do it. Do it, you know how the first two rounds felt? There we go, there we go. Still with three, guys. We're almost done with three. We're almost there. We're almost there. I know. Time's flying while you're having fun. Heard that before. Let's go. Squeeze the bands. Squeeze the dumbbells. Get them up. Get them up. Good. Really focus on squeezing the bicep at the top there. All right. When we bring those hands up, it shortens that muscle. That's where you get that squeeze and the burn in the bicep. Good. 20 reps. Down, just like that. Last one, down climbers. You can stick with this one. I'm going to switch it up a little bit. We still have 10 seconds left, guys. So I'm going to get into a bear curl. All right, so my knees are an inch above the floor. I'm going to elbow tap from there. Three, two, one, go. Go. So my goal here is to not shift and wiggle the hips. I'm trying to stay as stable and as straight and as straight. Square as I can towards the floor here. Or you can do the same thing in a plank if you don't like the knees bent here. Here we go. 20 total reps. If you're going mountain climbers, keep going, baby. Keep going. I'm right there with you. Almost, almost 30 seconds to go. 30 seconds to go. Take your time. Take your time. Don't bother rest. Ooh. All right, that's tough. Those are always tough. If you do them right, those are tough. All right, guys. Guys, we have six minutes to go. Six minutes and we're done. So here we've got really 10 seconds until we start all back up again. All back up again. All right, here we go. Back to number one. Back to number one. What's our press variation? You stick with the same one. We go overhead. Whatever you've got, let's go. 20 best reps right now. Go. Go. 20. Four. Five. Here we go. There we go. Focus on the technique. All right, control that weight down. Push it away fast. Get that power through the weight. Through the weight. There we go. There we go. Squeeze those dumbbells. Don't let them fall out of the hands. If you're pushing overhead, keep those, keep those core muscles firing. One. Done. Done. All right. Row. Last set of rows. Set of rows. What variation 
shaking it. You've been anchored around something, pull it back like a cable row or a band row. All right, let's get started. In three, two, one, go. Go, I'm gonna wrap around my feet again and get the 20 solid reps, just like last time. Right, so if you're doing like maybe a bird dog row right now or even a plank row, just try to keep those hips level. Just like those pull parts, don't let the shoulders start to creep up towards the ears. Shoulders and ears are not friends today, or at least not right now. So it should not look like you're talking on the phone with that phone in between the shoulder and the ear. There we go. Keep that chest proud. Hold the elbows down and back. Woo! All right, 20, done. Guys, we got four more rounds to go, and we're done. Keep going, let's go. 10 seconds. I'm going back to the dead bug variation here with the roller. And if you don't have anything, put your right hand on your left knee and just press it into that knee. Opposite arm, opposite leg goes out, and we stay on the same side. I'll stick with this one. And we'll just do 10 on each side here. All right, so you're actively pushing the knee in towards your hand as you push that hand into the knee. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Stays flat. Back stays flat. It feels hard if you're doing it right. There we go. It should be very, very good for the core here. But if you're feeling it in your lower back, stop it, switch it, do something else. Do something else. We're almost there. You got it. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. All right. Woo! 13 seconds to go. Oh boy. Oh, where's my band? Where's my band? All right, three go, guys. Three go. Here we go. Let's go back to the pull parts. Arms straight, chest proud. Ready, steady, spaghetti. Go, go. Twenty reps. Twenty reps. All the way back. All the way back. Trying to keep those arms as straight as we can the whole time. Control the band back. Squeeze the shoulders together. Squeeze them together in the back. There we go. We're doing a lot of computer work. I'm sure a lot of you guys are now. These muscles, you're going to notice you're going to do a lot of this. They get lazy. So these guys are getting worked with this pull part here. All right. But I'm done with that. That might have not hit the fan. We will never know. All right. Number five. Arms. I'm sticking with the biceps here. Stick with the biceps. Maybe I'm going to go. I'll go bandit here. Keep going. Guys. We're doing a great job. Great job, the upper body should be feeling pumped. Give the legs a little break here. Right, you could always come back to this one and do a different variation on whatever move we're doing. Ready, set, go! Go! I'm going with my 20 solid bicep curls. Don't forget, you can control the tempo. Control the tempo. Fast up, slow down. All right, you can even add a little pause to the end of each one, right in the middle. Pause it for a second and then drop it down. We've got so many different things we can do with curls here. All these fun and games. Squeeze them. Squeeze it. We've got less than 30 seconds, guys, and then we're on to our last station. Let's go. Woo! All right. I might even be able to fit through the door with these arms. <laughs> uh, all right. All right. 20 mountain climbers to finish it off. Guys, we got eight seconds. Eight seconds. This is the last minute. Last minute. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm going slow and controlled here. Slow and controlled. Really squeeze that stomach as I pull my knee in towards that elbow. Squeeze it. Imagine you were about to get punched right in the stomach. Stiffen up that core. Stiffen it up. Tighten it up. There we go. There we go. 20. All the way, don't you dare give me 19. If anything, give me 22. I'll take 22 gladly. Don't you dare stop at 18 or 19. Keep going all the way through. All the way through. Woo! Yeah, another one. Nice job, guys. Nice job. We're still working. Keep going. We got 15 seconds. 
until we're all done. Until we're all done. There you go. Good shot, guys. Bang, there it is. Let's go. Make sure we all finish together. Three, two, one. Done. Done. Guys, great job. Great job. Like always, don't you dare go anywhere. Let's finish it off the stretch. We went heavy on the arms today, so let's go back to the arm stretches, right? So, let's say if you get in the warm up, we can still do it as a cool down, too. So, arms are straight. Like I said, grab a broomstick, grab a long towel, beach towel, and work perfectly here. A sweater, a hoodie, whatever you've got, you're holding it in. Those hands, and we're just opening up the chest here, rotating the shoulders. Just go over and back a few times here. Right, if you get real cute with it, maybe go one arm at a time, and then bring it back across. That works. That works. Whatever feels good on your shoulder. Like I said, this is something you can do during the day, especially if you're feeling tight on the laptop. All right, good. Done with that. Done with that. Let's do a little tricep stretch. So we'll bring that right hand over your head, behind your neck. Right, so your elbow's in the air. Grab that elbow, and then pull it behind your head. So you feel a nice stretch down this, down the side of the arm there. All right, as we do this, we're breathing. We're breathing. Here we go, hold it for a few seconds. You can shake it out, switch those hands up. Switch those hands up, there we go. Nice, breathe it out. Breathe it out, walk it out if you're here with me. The legs shouldn't feel too tired. I don't think there's too many legs here, other than those like maybe reverse lunges in the warm up. So, the legs should feel good. Let's add a little rotation here. Add a little rotation. I want to make sure you guys can see me, so I'm on my hands and knees here. All right? I'm going to push my butt back onto my heels. So, once I'm in this little seated position, I'm going to keep my left hand off the ground, left hand behind your back. Or behind your head, sorry. Elbows touch, open it up, don't move your lower back. This is all the chest and the shoulders here. Tap the elbows again, open it up. Let's do that 10 times. Ideally, we'd like to keep this left arm straight. Right? If it bends, that means we're compensating and we might be leaning too much or, or even using the lower back there. Right? So try to stay as level as you can with the hips. Hips should not be moving. That's why we sat them all the way back so the lower back is locked up there in between the hips. Alright, once you get to about 10 or as many as you feel like you need there, you do the same thing on the other side. Open it up, close it in. Here we go. Just like we do with Spider Man, breathe out as we turn. Breathe out as we turn. Very similar here, right? We're still rotating up the back. Alright, good. Good. Last one. We're going to get a little lat stretch. A little child's pose, so we're gonna stay in that same position. Just watch the move a little bit. We're gonna keep our butt back, our head is down. Once we're in this position, we're gonna slightly reach those fingertips out in front of us, like they're caterpillars, and we're gonna hold that position. Keep the butt back, keep those arms straight. There we go. We're breathing. We're breathing. All right, once you guys are ready, we're gonna bring that left hand on top of my right hand. Now I should feel stretched on that left side. Hold it nice and controlled. All right, once you feel ready, you do the same thing on the other side. Right hand across from my left hand. Hold it there for a nice few seconds. Breathe in, please. Breathe, breathe. Please breathe. Please breathe the one thing. Please breathe. Guys, and that is it. That is it. Hopefully you guys got a good little pump there. Right, and like I said, Next time you do this, because I know you'll be back. Next time you do this, switch up the variation. Maybe you did uh, a core press here. Maybe if you're okay with a push up, do a push up next time. Do a different type of row next time. Do a different type of uh, a straight leg sit up, right? We can do the single leg ones we did. We can do the leg lowers. So many different variations we can do this. And you, like always, you guys can always reach out to us, and we're glad to help and uh, give you different types of movements for whatever you're feeling. All right, so guys, great job. I'll see you next time. Keep it real, stay safe, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, guys.